Hello, welcome to this video abstract on our paper, GNSS Spoofing Detection Through Spatial Processing. Spatial processing or direction of arrival based techniques have been presented on quite a bit already in the literature. Why, you might ask, another paper on this kind of spoofing detection? Well, we think we offer an improved uh, way of processing these measurements that results in better detection performance. We also make some considerations for our real world conditions that we think haven't received as much attention yet, but are actually really necessary. Let's take a look at an example here of four measurements. Red are the actual direction measurements uh, that we obtained from the ephemeris. Blue are the directions we measure, for example, with an antenna array. You can see they don't quite align because we don't know the antenna attitude. And that's what's usually done under nominal, under, uh, nominal conditions. You uh, estimate the antenna attitude and trying to align those blue measurements with the red ephemeris based directions, and you see how close they match. The approach we uh, propose, however, is independent of the antenna attitude. Specifically, we look at the great circle arcs. We uh, measure the great circle arcs between the measurements, compare them to the great circle arcs between the ephemeris based directions. Under nominal conditions, they should match fairly closely. Under spoof conditions, however, the great circle arc should be zero since the direction measurements should all align. And that's the key difference here that we can actually define exactly what we expect to see under spoof conditions. This leads to about a 10, uh, two to 10 times improved detection performance in terms of missed detections, um, depending on the satellite geometry and uh, the antenna measurement accuracy. The math behind this, uh, can be a little involved uh, selecting those uh, selecting those great circle arcs, um, making sure the measurement covariance matrix remains well conditioned. We show details on this in the paper and the code is published on GitHub. Some considerations we think are necessary for real world conditions are the nominal conditions that not all measurements are coming from where we expect them to come from. There's unmodeled effects such as multipath that can throw those measurements off. So we suggest to expect and uh, accept one outlier uh, per epoch. We show flight data that uh, supports that claim. Under spoof conditions, on the other hand, we usually expect all the measurements to come from the same direction. We show data where this is not the case and only a subset of satellites is spoofed. And we show that you actually have to uh, include uh, this hypothesis and test for this hypothesis. Um, otherwise, uh, your detection performance is significantly reduced. This is just... Uh, high level introduction here. I hope uh, this uh, motivates you to look at the paper that has a lot more details. Thank you very much.